Mike, we're on the campus of UI Huntsville. Can you tell us about your role here? Well, yeah. After I left NASA in uh, 2009, I was obviously looking for what I was going to do next. And uh, in my mind, the, I was planning on a, a university or, or a nonprofit uh, institution a role there. And uh, I was invited to come and chat with the administration here at UA Huntsville. And uh, I, of course, was uh, very taken with the potential of UA Huntsville. We're a very heavily scientific and engineering school. Forty-seven percent of us are engineers and in, in engineering and science here, which right. appeals to my strengths. <laughs> right. <laughs> and um, uh, the trustees and the president uh, were uh, lined up to to take the university up another level. Right. We're uh, we were just recently named as a, a Carnegie Tier One research university. Uh, which is a product of some of the efforts that have been made over the last several years. And it, it seemed to me like a uh, medium-sized university on the move where possibly I could help out. Right. Uh, I certainly had uh, opportunities to go to larger and more, shall we might say, name recognizable places, but I wasn't sure I could do anything to help any of them. Right. And, and I thought I could help here at the university. So I came to Huntsville. and. Uh, it was a place that was very familiar to me from my career in the space business. I'd been coming here on business for 35 years. Right. And uh, I didn't need a map to get around. <laughs> I had long since learned my way. And right. So, so it was very compatible. I like the area. I like the people. I like, like what we do here. Um, I, uh, for, for my own individual role, of course, I teach. And uh, I'm also trying to establish a new research center, a center for systems engineering research. Okay. We call it the Center for System Studies because it's my observation that here in Huntsville, we're what I call a systems town. Mm -hmm. We, as I have said, you know, we don't make widgets. Right. Uh, Silicon Valley has that cornered, and they do very well at it. Right. Uh, we're not going to become successful by trying to replicate what someone else does. We're a systems town, and, and yet there has not been uh, a really significant amount of, of research into the design and development and operation of large complex systems mm -hmm. and how that can be done more effectively. And I'm, as an academic now, I'd like to see us dig into that. Right. So that's what I'm trying to do here. Okay, that's Combination great. Combination of teaching and research and, and public outreach, things like that. Right. 